Would you like to learn? This is lads now in particular. Would you like to? Maybe it's women wanting to. How would you like to learn to approach women? How would you like to learn to get a woman's number, successfully get a woman's number? How to approach, meet and attract any person you choose and create and develop a successful relationship. Over the course of eight weeks, we will build up your confidence so you're relaxed and comfortable approaching and chatting to new women. We will teach you the art of attraction, sharpen your flirting skills, giving you the ability to communicate with confidence and charisma in any situation. Well, that's some blurb. Kama Lifestyles. Uh, Ian is from Kama, Ireland. Good morning, sir. Hi, hi there. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, these are skills good. that you kind of usually have to develop for yourself when you're about 14 or 15 or maybe a little older. Can you actually teach them? Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, people say that, you know, this is something that you're normally born with or, you know, that you inherit from, say, your, your, your parents or your, you're naturally, you know, naturally born with. But I, I can assure you this is a skill that can actually be learned. And, you know, our objective at Karma Lifestyles, we teach men and we, we help men how to become kind of more successful with women and we try and develop their confidence. So, you know, and we do this, um, we have our, we basically have two courses. So we have, we have a theory course and we have a, a practical course. And the theory element, we kind of coach them. It's, it's called our Supreme Confidence course and we'll coach them over an eight week period and work on their beliefs, work on their kind of limiting beliefs and give them, give them kind of more positive, empowering beliefs. What are the kind and of rookie mistakes that a guy makes when he goes into the pub Saturday night with the hope of meeting somebody? The, I guess, you know, the biggest mistake that guys make is they, they, they think that, you know, they're overly, they're too nice, I, I suppose, you know, when they go into a date, when they meet a girl, they're just far too nice. And, and so the girl kind of quickly loses her interest and she quickly, and she, she, she just wants, she asks for the bill, you know, straight away. So I think, you know, when, as a guy going in, on a date with a girl, you know, you, you kind of have to, you should express your own opinion. So, so make sure, you know, express yourself in a conversation and don't be afraid to talk about what you like doing, you know, no matter how weird or wonderful you think it is. So, you know, at Karma Lifestyles, we encourage guys to really and truly kind of express themselves and, and talk, really talk about their passions and what they're passionate about. Because when you talk about something that you're passionate about, you tend to show your attractive side and you tend, you tend to be very attractive, you know, to the, to the opposite sex and it ticks so many boxes. Mm. So definitely don't be afraid to express yourself and don't be too nice and, and, and be, be challenging and, and challenge, challenge the girl. The world has changed a bit, Ian, from when I was on, on the dating scene. And one of the ways that it has changed is, and, and I, I yeah. will say this as carefully as I possibly can because I don't want to offend anybody. The way that 20 years ago young people interacted with each other in the course of trying to find a date or trying to find someone to go out with. Many yeah. of the things that we did back then that were continued ju or considered just flirting or just, if you want, playing the field, nowadays are considered highly inappropriate behavior. And we've all had to yeah. change our attitudes. So have, does, the, does the courses that you run, do they take that into consideration? You have to be appropriate at all times now. Of course, no, certainly, of course, it's a really, really good point, because I think another mistake that guys make, you know, is when they're meeting a girl for the first time or, or dating for the first time, they either, they, they either don't, touch, don't touch enough or, or they touch her too much. And, well, they're um, afraid of their I life think, to touch her at all. Oh, well, yeah, well, they're, you know, they're afraid, they're afraid to touch her. And I think most guys will do this because, you know, they're afraid of kind of appearing sleazy and appearing creepy, and, and they've read you know, various articles and read various news stories online where they, they believe that women don't want to be touched. But remember that, you know, human beings and, and even women, we're, we're social animals and touching is still an, a really important part of, of the whole bonding process. So whether it's your girlfriend or whether it's your close friend or, or even a, a member of your family, you know, when you touch someone, it really kind of, it builds that connection and it makes someone feel happy and, and much more relaxed. But there's a whole way to touch someone now in that you say, you have to, you must communicate, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with you and I want you to be comfortable with me, but there's nothing to this other than that. 
Of course, yeah, no, of course, of course. There is, there are certain ways of doing it. You know, you have to be, you have to kind of take your time. You know, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't rush the interaction. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. say books and courses and all of that, and residential boot camp training. And I know that you're currently speaking to me from Marbella, which you're in the <laughs> middle. Now, what, what would I go to a residential boot camp for? Well, the residential boot camp, you know, it's it's it's, it's a week long kind of uh, training program. It's, it's an intensive training program. And it, there's, there's, there's 70 plus hours of training where, you know, we take our clients out during the daytime as well as to all the kind of bars and clubs and at the nighttime. So, you know, as you probably saw on, uh, at the Calm Lifestyles website, that the course is, is, is um, it's slightly over 4,000 euros. Um, it's, it's, Get it's a family quite, uh, holiday for that in Marbella in a villa. <laughs> it, 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 good, um, good, man. There, there is, yeah, there is, there is a, a price to it, but you know, there is. This really is kind of an ultimate opportunity for for guys to really kind of jumpstart their their dating life. Come here, I nearly want, I nearly want to be getting married at the end of that from before. <laughs> from before I'm sure, I'm sure that the, the girl will, will will end up paying for the marriage, so you know, you wouldn't have to worry. There's somebody there with you, I think, um, on who's presently either on the boot camp. Or, or yeah. Uh, yeah, I just hold on yeah. the line there, Ian Podrig. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? Um, I was in that part of the world, Buenos Dias. Um, <laughs> you're on the boot camp at the moment. Four grand to learn how to date, lad. Is it that hard? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, it sounds like it's expensive, but I think that over the course of a lifetime, you know that uh, four thousand isn't that much. So, what's um, your own in terms story? Of the when impact. Did, yeah. Yeah, so like um, I was um, in a in a long term uh, relationship um, before, and and basically when I came out of that, I was quite shy and I was quite withdrawn, and I didn't want to to meet new people. Yeah. And um, basically, my confidence was um, impacted, and I wanted to uh, to work on that. Okay. So um, I was looking for ways and means in which to, to build it back up, um, and especially in, in the dating. And um, basically, I came across the the, the Camel lifestyles, mm. and um, I, I saw previous client testimonials of guys who had had very little success uh, in their dating lives, you know, and, and how they were able to to turn it around and to be able to to approach um, girls in any situation and to get mm. instant dates. Mm-hmm. Um, and I said I'd put it to the test and to see if it actually works. So, uh, first of all, I, I signed up for the confidence training and where it was an eight-week intensive program and they helped me to, to get my, you know, limiting beliefs um, sorted, you know. Limiting my beliefs. Distorted thinking. What yeah. So, like, I might think that, you know, um, sh- you know that you're, you, you're not good enough to, to get with her or she's too good-looking for you, you know, to, to approach and she's out of your league lad don't even start yeah we, we, yeah, tell her, yeah. we, we tell ourselves that I guess so how do you how do you get around that for example I think you just have to look at it as like it's it's just um, what what they talk about is it's, it's like a, a distorted uh, thinking pattern that um, a lot of guys in, in, engage in you know it's like if, if they see if they see a guy and a girl together at a bar they automatically assume that that's the boyfriend but that might not be the case you know Gotcha. And then they never approach. So, are you getting value for your book? Oh, for for definite, yeah. Like, I mean, some of the results that have happened, like, I mean, like, girls that I've literally just gone up to on the street, get on an instant date, you know, you get, you're able to get so numbers. The first date isn't the thing, Padraig. Have you had a second date yet? Yeah, like, I mean, even they, they help you with that as well in terms of, you know, building successful relationships as well. How to handle, you know, different objections that might be put in front of you, especially when you're when you're getting to know somebody for the first time, you know? Mm. Is it harder um, for lads now, do you think, that when you were forced on the scene? Well, I think the online um, has um, taken over in a big way now, you know? Mm. Um, and there's probably, I think there's less people, you know, that um, are out, you know, socializing in 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 that way you know i think the main difference with with this company is that basically it offers like a, a practical element you know the infield training is, is the biggest thing yeah. they, they have so, a, a team that actually works with you a team of people that teaches you the skills as you go along i was watching this morning on their website listen i'm going to leave it there podrick thanks very much and ian from cama ireland it's there if you want to try it camalifestyles.com uh,